Hi, welcome to the Marine Basics. Hope you guys are doing well. It's been a while I uploaded a video, and today we will be discussing about scavenge space inspection. On a two-stroke crosshead engine, regular inspection of the scavenge manifold should be carried out. So, in this video we will discuss 1. Why we do scavenge inspection 2. How to prepare for scavenge space inspection 3. Tools required for carrying out scavenge space inspection 4. Carrying out the inspection In that we will discuss a couple of important areas to check and finally we'll discuss how to take proper photographs in scavenge space. Number one, why we do scavenge space inspection. Scavenge inspection is inspection of piston, piston rings, cylinder liners, etc. of the main engine through scavenge ports. The early detection of wear mechanisms corrosive, abrasive and adhesive wear and the determination of the root cause will prevent costly and catastrophic damages that may put the safety of the vessel at stake. The inspection consists of visually examining the piston, the rings and the lower part of the cylinder liner directly through the scavenge air ports. To reduce the risk of scavenge box fire, remove any oil sludge and carbon deposits in scavenge air box and receiver in connection with the inspection. Further during low load, combustion cycle might not be as effective due to the actual fuel oil qualities and running condition of the fuel injection equipment. So those are reasons why we are doing scavenge inspection. Now let's discuss about preparations for the scavenge space inspection. 2. How to prepare for the scavenge space inspection. Scavenge port inspections are best carried out by two men, the most experienced of whom inspects the surfaces and states his observations to an assistant who records them. The assistant also operates the turning gear. Scavenge space is a confined space. Obtaining enclosed space entry is a must. Keep the cooling water and cooling oil circulating so that possible leakages can be detected. Block the starting air supply to the main starting valve and starting air distributor. Open the indicator valves. Engage the turning gear. Remove the inspection covers on the camshaft side of the cylinder frame and clean the openings. Remove the covers on the scavenge air receiver. That is all about regarding preparation. Let's move on to the next topic. 3. Tools required for carrying out scavenge space inspection. From lift, piston crown template, vernier gauge, soft metal drift, camera, feeler gauge, pencil, marker, mirror, flashlight, large screwdriver, mallet, clean rags for wiping down surfaces. Those are tools required and let's carry out the scavenge space inspection. After opening up and following enclosed entry procedures, ensuring that the doors are secured in the open position and entry can be made. Now let's see things which should inspect on piston crown. Leaking oil. If oil is found on the piston, determine if it is fuel oil or lube oil. Fuel oil will be black and sticky, indicating a fuel valve is leaking. Lube oil will be brown and non-sticky, indicating it could be from an exhaust valve. Leaking water. Water on a piston indicates a cooling system leak. If water is found, it is important to determine what the cause is. Viewed by either a photo or mirror, does it appear the leak is from cylinder head, exhaust valve, injectors or in another source? Next we will discuss about piston deposits. Often some deposits will accumulate on the side of the top land. Carbon deposits on the ring lands indicates lack of gas sealing at the respective rings. If the deposits are thick, the surface may be smooth and shiny from rubbing on the cylinder wall. This contact may locally wipe away the oil film, resulting in micro seizure and increased wear of liner and rings. There are several indications of deposit which we should consider. Running surfaces of piston rings will be worn bright. In addition, the rings will move freely in their grooves, be well oiled evenly around the circumference of the piston and intact. 
Those are pictures of light deposits and medium deposits. This is a picture of excessive deposits. Excessive carbon deposits are the result of over lubrication or improper combustion. The polished deposit. If the deposits are abnormally thick, the carbon deposits may be smooth and shiny from rubbing against the cylinder wall. This can result in locally wiping away the oil film, causing micro seizures and increased wear of liner and rings. In some instances, mechanical clover leafing surface condition section can occur, visible as vertical groove of lightly higher wear in between the lubricating quills. That is all about deposits identified during scavenge space inspection. This video will split into two parts, and we will be discussing further in the second part. In the second part, we will be discussing about ring condition, surface condition, lubrication condition during scavenge space inspection, and we will see how to take a proper photograph during scavenge space inspection. If you found this video is helpful so far, please do subscribe to my channel for watch more videos. Likes and comments are most welcome. We will meet again in part two of this video. Thank you very much.